Oh, I, people of Black Lives Matter, you are stubborn. Stubborn. So, there has been a, like, recently just a uh, protest uh, at uh, Tr Trader Joe's uh, locations uh, in uh, Seattle, Washington. And uh, Seattle, uh, Washington has uh, been a. Uh, under like quite a they had a quite a like a field day this year you know you know Chaz shop that first and then now this so people are like protesting because there are not many like uh Trader Joe's locations in like a uh, black location where black people live and but uh the, I see the problem here is like uh so so why are they, they like actually like protesting to like uh that's first, number one. Why are they protesting in the middle of a store? Well, a uh, grocery store, like, why? Uh, because there's not many black people, but... And, uh, so... But the thing is, like, if they're just... If some people are going to be like have a low income and stuff if they actually don't have like a high, nice paying job so yeah that's that number two there these people are like violently protesting and like they're, they're vandalizing places they're burning buildings down so if they burn uh, like a trader joe's down then why are they like asking them like i have it rebuilt again and number three you do not protest protest in a middle and in, inside someone else's business that you do not own so, so say like someone is just shopping i am shopping and people are like uh protesting in the middle of the store and they're bothering they're being loud and uh there's a serious senior over there who's a hard of hearing and it's just hurting their ears they have hair they have hearing aids in and then some people are just trying to shop and then and then there's that little toddler over there and they're scaring the toddler because of the noise and i'm just trying to go to the grocery shop and these and they're literally, literally broken away it's like i need to go to this aisle but these these suckers are like literally are literally trying to like bump, um, block my way from where where am i going going what part of the store i am going to for by, by a certain item so why are they bothering me so so same thing with restaurants you do not protest in the middle of a restaurant in, in in inside a grocery store either or any other kind of building any other kind of building you do not so you can park protest in a protest in a parking lot okay that's okay but you might have to be careful of that because with uh, cars are coming in and out. But why do why are these people just wasting their time and like why don't you go just go get a job and or something instead of like complaining about something that is a cause that isn't even yours. Cause there are could there could be like a grocery store locations where the manager could be black, Latino, Arabic. Yeah, I've seen it on like a grocery store where uh, like uh, the owner is like a store uh, Indian as in India and yeah he's a nice dude so but let me explain to you so guys if you don't re really know the reason why so the first reason is like uh because uh in the area so there needs to be like a plot of like land like the that like the company needs to buy in order to have their location of uh 
whatever like store or like whatever the, the business is so and uh, manager of that area should be uh, should have to like uh to pay like a uh, you know income taxes and like uh you know property tax and then the business needs to be successful so but if they if they can afford like for neighborhood but and not many people show up that place is most likely in a couple of years it's gonna like close and you'll have to like forced to like move to another location or it was just going to go completely bankrupt so unless the, the, the manager actually owns that property actually owns that but you won't they will not have to worry about it but like the land landlord who if it, they're just like renting it or something or like say it's like a it's like a business like right in the middle of a downtown area where there's like a lot of uh, apartments uh, right above and uh, so then uh, the problem they'll have to pay the landlord uh, monthly uh, payments and uh, sometimes like the payments can uh, increase right through the roof and yeah it will not be uh, easy uh, as it looks and that is why you know some people don't really understand like what business owners I have to have to actually go go through when they are like uh, looking for like a place to like have their biz run their business and uh, sort of you know be successful by still selling uh merchandise. Now oh, those are like two good reasons why. And uh, three uh, reasons uh, why you shouldn't be like that. Uh, why this is just being uh, people are just being completely stupid. With it. So if you're going to protest, do it outside. Don't do it inside of, of, of someone else's business. That because you're just bothering other people. Because the owner or manager has the hundred percent in rights. To kick your ass out.